when we hear about a mutation, we always ask ourselves, can we follow this mutation in remission? And is this a marker for, for relapse? And there are mutations that are very good M uh, MRD markers. And this is, for instance, MPM1. However, with IDH1 and IDH2, it wasn't clear when they were discovered whether they would be candidates. But we now get more and more evidence that they occur very early in the, in the area of clonal evolution and that they are not good MRD markers. And that is due to the fact that the IDH1 and IDH2 mutation can still be present at the time that the patient is in CR and they can be still present with a high mutational load which means that there's no clear correlation between the percentage of BLAS and the mutational load for IDH1 and IDH2. So that's why they would probably, from what we know right now, not be ideal candidates for MRD monitoring.